All along every front, we rebels are digging in. Defense in depth. Shield generators, turbo laser towers, increased garrisons, minefields, artillery, heavy armor, you name it. Every moment we hold back the Empire is another day the new shipyards come online. New planetary supply networks are established. Every day the rebellion grows stronger. Some days it's faster than command can even manage. The brutality of the Imperial regime has become far more obvious in recent years. At first, it was just hints. The massacre at Gorman, the enslavement of the Wookiees before Kashyyyk was liberated. Every time the Empire squeezes a system, we gain new allies. Every time they undercut a major corporation, we get new funding. Every time they falsely imprison someone, we get new soldiers for the fight. We just need to give the back line more time. Sadly, time isn't something we have in abundance. Vader's been seen in the north, near our secondary base on Ord Montel. While the attack was substantial, Ord Montel won't be the easiest garrison to remove for the Empire. The wreckage of centuries of starships make for an inhospitable geography, surprisingly more difficult than even urban fighting, where every bit of wreckage has radiation shielding. I wouldn't be surprised if the Imperial fleet returns with far more behind it. If anything, this is just a probing attack. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here and welcome back to Empire or Forces of Corruption playing the fantastic mod Awakening of the Rebellion, continuing our campaign. Oh, uh, we're looking at Corsac again, but from a different angle. <laughs> continuing our campaign is the Rebel Alliance. Uh, today's a good day. It's a good Star Wars-y day. I woke up this morning to uh, the, the trailer for... Uh, what is it? Outlaw. Star Wars Outlaw. And I get to do space crime in Star Wars. I'm like, I, okay, the Jedi Fallen Order series. I know this is totally off topic, but I'm really excited about it because I literally just watched the trailer. Uh, I, I'm I'm going to play it. I'll get to it eventually, the sequel to it. I played the first one. It was fine. Uh, I love the lightsaber combat. But you put, you let me be a smuggler, you know, in the Star Wars universe like I played in Star Wars Galaxies back in the day. I am so here for that. Yes. Good, the bad, and the ugly Star Wars style. That's all I want. Anyways, if you haven't watched that trailer, you should go check it out. Ubisoft Open World Star Wars game is on the way, and they finally put the trailer out. That's what I'm talking about. Anywho, and we got Starfield, which I hope we have Star Wars mods for. Anyways, back on to the campaign. Let's continue. Last episode, last episode was rough. We basically lost the battle uh, for Etten 2 on the invasion. Uh, we, I did not expect those droids. I'd never even seen those droids before, I don't think. Uh, and, oh man, somebody in the chat was like, in the comments were like, you know, if you just paused it, you could have fixed those issues and you wouldn't have lost the battle or whatever. It's like, yeah, so bad, built, bad composition of your army, bad positioning is not going to be fixed by just pausing the game. And also, if I pause everything, and I do pause a lot, it's kind of frustrating. I know that from a, from a gameplay perspective. So we need to figure out how we're going to invade this planet. It is well dug in, and I don't know what was going through my head last week. I was like, you know, there are the only capital ship production uh, I, I is this one planet. That's not necessarily true. It's not true at all. Uh, I must have been thinking of vanilla, maybe, with the number of dots based on you know the, the size of your space station. And that's not how this works. It's separate from the old space station system. And there are like, Exolist can build capital ships if I wanted to. It's already got way too much going on as it is. I'm not gonna have it do that. It's our frigate production facility in this region. Uh, Mustafar can go for, no, it can only go medium. No, it's Bakura. I was thinking about it. If I want capital ship production in the South, if I wanna increase that, because it's taking a long time for these ships to get built, it might not be a bad idea to get the, the Bakura and shipyards online to build capital ships and we can do that it does have the the heavy marker just to make sure i'm not off my yep yeah light medium and heavy so and the only thing that we've been building here is their destroyer which i think are very cool Five thousand credits though to get capital ship um no wait it's just a medium shipyard where's the oh do i have to have a medium to get the large beginning construction well, let's build it. Let's see if we can upgrade that to a large once the medium is built. Because I don't see a large on here. I so f I guess rarely build capital shipyards that I don't remember if that's the case or not. Hmm. Yes. Quite. Lowers the time for production if you have multiple by 50%. Yeah, but it's so expensive. And the executor is done in a minute. Which we need to start preparing for. What I really need... Uh, what I really need is starship capability down here. Let's turn that music down a little bit. 
I need more I need more X wings. I need more Y wings. I need more. There was a lot of talk in the comments about like maybe you should start getting some H wings because that SSD that Super Star Destroyer is gonna be slow and those big torpedoes will definitely catch up to it. The proton bombs and all that. You're not wrong. I'm kind of with you. I'm kind of with you on this. So ah, they're expensive too though. They're expensive too, and we're about to invest in another capital ship. I'll say this week's fundage will pit into building up our, our fighter production in the south, picking up a new shipyard, and really doubling down on fighter capability. So let's go with Unit the H-Wing. We'll mix up three H-Wing squadrons, and let's get two unit. escorting X-Wing squadrons. X-Wings, not the best interceptor in the game. Obviously, these are superiority fighters, but they make up for all their downfalls with their, you know, multi-role capability. They can drop torpedoes and take out subsystems if there's enough of them. They can also dogfight with the best of them, and they heal over time because of their R2 units. They get to do those little self-repairs in the field, which is pretty sweet. Okay. Uh, man, I am nervous. Like, we've dug in Keronomoidia. You're going to be held on the ground. There's no chance of holding you in orbit. Um, I do have all of my ground spots used up. Uh, oh, you guys can train tier threes. Really? And I do have a spot. No, I don't. Those are X-Wings. I don't have a spot open for you. So we're going to hold off on that. Manan, how are you doing? Uh, you do have a space station. It's terrible. <sighs> but it's always such a waste of time. Building building these space stations because they're always going to show up with enough to break it there the ai is smart enough to know right the empire is smart enough to know what to bring to crack that to crack that egg uh what do they have over here large ground force still kind of on standby and then two really terrible space stations there was a little talk about taking it uh, at ziri which we do have the fleet nearby <sighs> man I'm, I'm at this point, I know some people probably get frustrated with this because I'm talking about all the possible possibilities. I'm at this point where losing an entire fleet at the wrong moment or making the wrong decision, like going for the wheel could be great because we could get, um, we could start the, the scripted mission to get our flagship. But if I do that and I lose 90% of this fleet and then something big comes out one minute until executor, you know, that kind of deal, I might be in trouble. It could really throw the war effort off. Uh, yeah, let's take it, Ziri. I feel like we should be able to do that and then and, and maybe lock in those ground forces. I could try to raid Rindil. I'd have to get through one of their randomized defense fleets. And I feel like the Empire's randomized fleets are so much better than the Rebellion's. Uh, Ord Montel, if we're going to hold you... Oh, you're already working on your space station. Good. And then how are you on ground forces? Uh, hilarious. Good. We're dug in there. We're going to make them pay for every inch. Yavin doesn't have... Beginning construction. Yeah, let's get... I can't believe I don't have your, your um, Tabana refineries online. That's just free money sitting there. Do you have a garrison, Corban? You don't have a garrison. Okay, let's get the time going. Let's, in let's invade that world at the very least. Raid it. Keep them off balance. Um... Uh, I think they're using that for production, too, because I keep seeing starships pass by, and either they're pulling the ground forces received. off of here. Oh, they're preparing for an attack, aren't they? Mon calamari crews are ready. Our B-wings are just arriving from last week. I must have called them up. Ooh, your artillery ship is done. Um, I don't have time to move you yet, but I should probably get another capital ship underway. Tactical I want to get twin artillery. I feel like being able to double down on... Okay, what do we have? Yeah, we're going to blow up these mobile support stations. I wonder why do they build two of them? <laughs> Weird. Why not? Why not? Let's go break some Imperial stuff. My player is in our tabletop game. We're playing today after this recording. Like I said, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun Star Warsy day for me. Uh, we haven't been able to play in a while, so we've been like moving it around. That adult life always getting in the way of all the fun gaming times. And we've been running for three over three years now, the same tabletop game. They've been building up this alliance. 
one of the players is about to be promoted to captain and is going to be literally taking over for their entire rebel unit. So they're gonna be making all of the decisions going forward on how they operate within the Namadi Corridor. It's very exciting for them because they're gonna use all of their contacts, all their assets, the ships that they have at hand, and they have to decide what is the next move? How do you fight an overwhelmingly superior enemy in the way of manpower and gear and equipment and money? And they have a deep understanding of like what the Weapons Empire online. is doing in the region. So ah, it's going to be exciting because today is the first charged. day of that. What's going to happen? Let's send our long probe out. And they're getting very creative with it. Uh, talking about breaking into a local prison on Viconder and maybe freeing up a lot of political enemies of the Empire. Basically, they're going to go break into a prison to gain manpower is what they're thinking at least. Like, there's some cool stuff in there. But they also reporting. know that there's uh, patrols there of like our Quintins, you know, uh, Imperial, Imperial cruisers out there. Uh, let's pop a scan. Flight systems engaged. Okay. Space station is down in the south. They're gonna have. Choose your reinforcements. Okay, we need to, we need to form up. We need to form up. So let's get the MC80. Order confirmed. I'm gonna have full like Mon Cala capital ship fleets. Soon. Moving to coordinates. Venator in the back. Um, this probably uh, too works. many fighters. No, oh, this should be fine because we can bring in Moving MC. MC. Out. We can bring in Krillian On my way. blockade runners. Right away. Heading out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And there's no reason why I'd want to stop them canceled. from running. Enemy forces ahead. Mm, let's say that some jamming. Moving to destination. Some more. We're heading out. Let me, what do you guys think of this as a fleet formation? So we've got a carrier, right? Battle carrier. No, battleship. Excuse me. Battleship. Um, we got an old school carrier. These still use B wings, by the way, and arcs. Um, we've got. What do we have coming in? Oh, jeez. Y wing standing yeah, pull by. Off, pull off. Come on back. Come on back. Look at this thing. The mobile support stations. I love to see Awakening the Rebellion use this more. This idea that you can build these like mobile um, defense stations that move around. I find that very interesting. I find that more interesting. And let me know if you if you agree with this or not. I find mobile space stations like this. I don't know what they could use for the rebellion. Um, far more interesting than static space stations, where the empire, you know, the the enemy comes towards you. Uh, and you have to fight it out because it's always the same like you know you're sieging thankfully they are chasing uh with a billion tie fighters and we've got long range uh victories see look at that their defense fleet gets freaking victory class star destroyers that can hit you from a mile out roger Advanced. how much cooler is that all right let's get the battleship up uh, let's get the shield generator we're really not in a position let's get some in ones get the nabooians your orders? No, 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 no. Bombers Bring your fighter wings back. Fall back. Let them come. We should also... Oh, I didn't put you on off of autocast. Uh, there is a button that you can press in the options menu to make it so they don't autocast stuff like that, like what you just saw. Let's go ahead and turn that off of autocast. I don't do it because I kind of forget that it exists, the button. And some things I do want to autocast. All right, annihilate that ship. And got target his engine so he doesn't have a chance to get away. There's a ship you don't see often, the Strike Cruiser, Ion Disabler Boat for the Empire. From the Lornor Corporation. All right, time to move in. Let's go, bombers. Arcs, let's do it. It's time to wreck base. That victory class should be relatively useless right now. Venator looks like he's out of range, so let's move you up. And as soon as you're in range, we'll kick on the reroute powered engines, or weapons. There goes that brawler and our blockade runners should basically be putting up a field of death to stop enemy fighters let's move up a little bit starting to take a little bit of damage let's take out the engines on that dreadnought so we can keep them at range uh where are you going there's no way you finished off that venator that victory class overload your weapons and let's move you up uh you might be perfect position yes you're in the perfect position a little bit closer, a little bit closer. Our fighters have engaged. Um, they are getting their butts kicked. And I can't really pull them back. That's fine. 
Everything, everything but the in ones. Actually, let's pull the in ones back. In ones, come on back. Let's get the blockade runners within the shield and stop. Stop. There you go. They are all in the shield field. Oh, the in one. He's being he's being chased. Cover him, blockade runners. I want to see fields of fire. Uh, they're all dead. Uh, yeah, there there was no there was no watching their backs. They were all dead. Let's kick on the engines. Move, move fast. We're gonna close in and use those heavier guns since we are a mixed mixed build. I copy. All right, fleet, time to go. Our target yeah. priority is the laser cannon. They might not be as effective as something like a lancer, but the fact that they can hunt and screen Reporting. relatively well. If you have enough Disable of them, it doesn't engine. matter. Destroy the engines. Blockade runner for life. You didn't even see him there. Look at him, the dual cannons. Take his engine out. Come on, you can do this. Yes, Commander. You break that ship, and I bet they run. Form up. Bring it on route. That is Ready. a lot of torpedo incoming. Do we have a any jamming order. capability left? Brigitte's no. Yes. And Mark one of you have already popped it. All right. Ties are getting close. I believe. Like, we'll take out those bombers before they fire. Come on. Come on. Take them out. You got to shield the fleet. Roger that. Oh, they're trying to alpha strike our port. <laughs> they were trying to alpha strike the thing that can jam the torpedoes. Oh, man. Now, somebody in the comments mentioned, and I haven't checked to see if this is true, because we don't have one in this fleet, but the, the Mon Cala artillery ship. Oh, we do have one in the fleet. No, it's the Brawler Disabler. You fire. Go ahead and fire. Um, they were saying that it has the ability to be a screener for the rest of the fleet, and I find that really interesting. Artillery ship, keep it close to the fleet, but in the back, might be really good if that's the case. Good grief, they've got a lot of fighters. Um, I'm gonna take out your main space station, so if you're not gonna... Like, I know these aren't cheap, and their defense plates are so much better. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move up. Swing around. Decree through full throttle. Look at this thing. Got one. Brawler disabler. It's six. such a badass looking ship. Watch your six. My copy, sir. Alright, we're moving it. Underway. Let's back you off. Roger that. Looks like you're being power to the You're engine. being focused. Y wing here. Changing course to intercept. Maybe line B's are still in the back, right? You guys are safe? Alright, we're good. Form up. Moving into position. Moving up. Yeah, no, no, stay in the back. Watch your six. Stay in the back. We're Ball fine up. here. Get him, Y-Wing. With your turret. Did they run? Oh, we're in the cutscene. That's why. One Imperial space station down. Two mobile stations destroyed. All right. We know they've got a shield generator. We know they have an Imperial factory. And we know they've got... They pulled those forces off the... When did they manage to do that? They must have done that. Where are they going? Yeah, where are they? If they just pulled all of those ground troops off of that planet, they're going somewhere. But they can't be going Cato to Moidia because they don't have the orbit. Dollars to space donuts. They're going to go north. They're going to hit Ord Montel because they can't get to Polis. And everywhere else has a space station. That would be the weak spot. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder if maybe the space station Tactical finishes before they. Imminent. Iridonia. Really? Oh, because you have the ability to break it. Yeah. I can't hurt this. What do we get? We get it. So, so remember the medium defense fleet for the Empire is like victory classes, right? The medium defense fleet for the rebellion is going to be maybe a dreadnought, a couple of ne of of uh, not nebulons. It's going to be uh, bulk cruisers, I bet. It's always bulk cruisers. It'd be one thing if it was like, and three quasars come out of hyperspace. Uh, let's see. Compared to the last battle, what are we going to get for our alert. medium fleet? Stand by alert. Clear bay three 
I don't think I'm going to waste any money on upgrades here. I'm not going to win it. I might be able to take down one or two on of the carriers. Route. Maybe. Here we go. Yep. All right. There's your bulk freighter. Reinforcements on route. Picket screener. Wonderful. A terrible picket screener. Oh, yay. Oh, actually, I talked a lot of crap. We did get an MC60. I'll take that. On route. I'll take that. Oh, yay. We can give up this life of crime. We have a Reinforcements <laughs> on hero route. ship of the rebellion. The GR75. Construction complete. They gave me two M60s. Game, why you got to make a liar complete. out of me? Uh, but I have nothing to slow them down Target with. So what we're going to do is we're going to run Target back here responding. with these two. We're going to let them take out the space station reporting. and use that reporting as a tank. Is. Basically. Uh, I'm going to leave that. the blockade runner up front. The blockade out. runner, the, um, the freighter up front. In. We're going in. Just so that we Red can see ready. what's Being happening. Out. Marauder cruiser here. Copy that. Advancing. So we can see them so that we can hit them. Because I don't think Friday I have a... Uh, yeah, I don't have any kind of, like, scout. Unless I want to throw a Z95 at it, which Weapons is never going to happen. Online. We're not going to win this. But we might, with this much firepower, twin artillery MC60s, we might be able to take out their carrier fleet. And I'd be okay with that. But we need to be in a decent position. These need to survive long enough Weapons charged. To, uh, to kill it. So we can keep the fire off of them. Let's turn off your shield ability. Because I'm fairly Ready. certain this is going to drain your combat capability. Reporting. And you are the, the key to this by. fight. And let's on get everybody way. grouped up. Because I want Keep you all open. fighting within the area of effect of the GR-75. You're going to be my group Ready one. Move. Go ahead and set up in the rear. The uh, we are going to increase. Let's increase forward firepower. Upgrade in progress. We'll do damage. I wasn't going to do the upgrades, but with the artillery, why not? And then let's go with, we don't need movement. Upgrade we do need fog of war reveal. We need that artillery to have its maximum range. Upgrade uh, complete. Not worried about, let's Upgrade go more weapons. in progress. Yes. Yes. 20% increased fog of war reveal. Awaiting command. Woots. Upgrade complete. Ready for command. Yeah, and then the rest of you are literally going to fight sir. around this. Yes, commander. On our way. Calamari frigate here. All right, let's Mon start. Calamari frigate ready. Come ready for Mon command. Calamari frigate ready. Let's go ahead and come about. Let's get ready for this fight. Upgrade complete. Look at that hangar bay. Do we have one on the other side? No, it's asymmetrical. Hmm. I like it. I dig it. I just want to play that X4 mod now and just sit on the top of my bridge of some Mon Cal cruiser. Order All right, let's stack Coming up right around. about there. Form up. Yeah, it should give us the the spot. Oops. And we'll make you guys group one. Standing by. Repair ship is group two. And then the rest of you. Standing by. You're just going to be playing. Orders, sir. Yeah, let's turn you around. Get the guns facing the right way. The ambush over Iridonia. The real defense of Iridonia. Wait, what happened over here? Oh, they took the uh, space station down. Those jerks. The real defense of Iridonia is going to take place on the deck. We've located the enemy. But this might weaken up their fleet. Stand by alert. Stand by alert. Enough for ours to come in and, and decimate this. If I can take out... Uh, wait, the only one they have is the Baron? Oh, that means we're going to have aces in this. Ace fighter squadrons. Yeah. And Captain Brindle. Go. All right, the weapons are firing. Copy. Attack. Switching fire. I'm gonna tell them to hold position because I don't want them to move, but I want them to switch their fire to the to the the carrier. They do have two carriers. Please fire at my target. Star cruiser here. We are being ion. Order, sir. All aboard. Hold position. Hold position. I copy. Reporting. Where is my Ready. little... Standing there you are. Reporting. Concentrating firepower. Activating weapons. Ah, uh, he's going to be dead before he has by. a chance. Do not engage. Do not Waiting engage. For for Roger that. Hold. Warm up. All right, pop the effect. Engage the fighters. Frigate responding. We're actually not engaging the carriers. I'm giving you orders to fire the carrier. You need to move a little bit closer, fine, so be it. Do it. We're just buying these guys time. I don't think, wow, that 
freighter that blows up fast. Awaiting instructions. Are we hitting? We are hitting. Space stations, switch your target. You guys are doing good damage. I'm not going to use the shield overload because it'll kill our damage output. Come on. Come on, artillery. Show me what you got. I realize the team... Oh, the fleet tenders are repairing them. And they're double fleet tendering. Oh, not the chicken tenders. Oh, he's moving out of it, though. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. All right, switch fire to the fleet tenders because you're not doing enough damage. Destroy the shield generator. Maybe. maybe. We are open to the magnetic field. They've moved out of it. They've moved out of it. Switch fire. Switch fire. Nice. Switch targets to this now. We're going to go after the fleet tenders. I need you guys to hold. Oh, don't let him get behind you. I don't think you fire backwards. I don't think you have the... Nice. Almost dead. Switch targets. I would love to switch over to that ace fighter, but... Come on. Come on. Give me some more shots. Please fire. Yes. Man, those impacts are massive. Good night. Switch fire. Focus on the fighters. On the, on the bombers. Oh, if you kill this. If you kill this. And I knock out a hero as well. Reinforcements on route. Enemy unit disabled. Moves and fires slower. We can't afford firing slower. Come on. Rounds are out. What are you hitting him with? Dual, medium, long range turbos. He's also got weapons built in. The amount. Yeah, I want I want twin these in my fleet. With a Dauntless in the front line plus good fire fighter coverage. Yeah. Artillery disabler. Which ship? Oh, maybe I'm thinking of the frigate. Come on, one more shot. One more shot. Oh, missiles away. D D D D D D D D D D D D D D. What? Oh, it was the disabler turn. Please fire one more shot. Don't you do this to me. Fire. I'm in range. Oh no. Copy. Break off. Break off. Missile away doesn't help. Come on, space station. Somebody get a missile. No. Hard burn. I know you're being chased. But I need you over here. Go, 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 go. You gotta outrun that ace. I can't hold out. Engage! Somebody go. hit him! Torpedo away! Oh, and he's getting his shields back. And the space station's out of range. We got another fighter! Go! Everybody run! You! There's a, there's a DP-20. Run! You are the hero we need! Fire at this! You don't even care about- No, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Come on, come on, I believe in you. I believe in you. Anybody, does anybody have any- Yes! Does, oh man. Okay, we're done. That space station survived for a shocking amount of time. I have blamed the GR-75. I mean, to the point where they actually, they actually damaged the, the ISD. We might have been able to take out that ISD. That would have been playing it. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right. We're done here. Good job, team. Oh wow, look at all the space stations in the bottom. Okay, I was complaining at the beginning of this of medium shipyards not really being super useful, and then I got lucky on my on my roll. All right, we know that there's going to be an enemy ground force coming in. We do have a weakened enemy. Uh, that was not the right button, but I don't have time to mess around. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Beat the ground forces. Beat the ground forces. Tactical battle. Yeah, imminent. yeah. Let's do this. <sighs> distracting them long enough. That has to be the goal. As we build our anti-super starter, super super Set starter destroyer, yeah, fleet of fighters. Right away. I should put this week, yeah, this week we're gonna put in uh, an order for maybe three more quasars. Choose your reinforcements. Now this is the fleet that does not have a way of stopping them from running away. So we'll get we'll get closer. Move the DP-20 up. The, the Hunter Corvette. Can damage larger ships, but not very effectively. Move it out. It's ISDs. I'm thinking the ion weaponry of our Marauder might not be a bad idea. 
All right, Dauntless. That'll, that'll give a sensor range. Roger that. We can All out. We can out damage engage. this. We can out damage this. Affirmative. Order Let's bring confirmed. in the torpedo effects. Roger. Let's Heading cycle out. you back. Fall out. Let's move out. Blockades. Let's go. Underway. Let's even Point out the amount there. of damage we can do. I want you all launcher. firing at that. Moving out. Location confirmed. And then ion Advancing. weaponry in the back. Reinforcements on I'm a little worried about you guys way. eating too much of this damage. Ready We're going to win this. we got to focus that fire. fire Let's go. Fire on the shield generator. X wings, yes, break off and go after those tides, please. Copy. A little worried about you guys, but it doesn't Order seem like they're trying to primary you, so you should be okay. Uh, I believe in you guys to push all the way through. All the way through. Let's get behind them. Rebel one, let's do it. Let's make them spin. Ready for action. Moving in for the kill. Let's disable their defenses. Come on, break them, break them, break them. Even with the tractor beams. Nice liberation. Let's go. All batteries, open fire. We need to break that quick. We'll blow them right out of the Rebel way. One here. Somebody in the comments said that my voice is on one of the ISDs. Is that true? For anybody who's been playing as the E, you're way too close. Man, I love the Dauntless. Choose your reinforcements. Like, I'm not super Offer. thrilled with this. We need to drop that damage quickly. Does anybody have any ion capability other than you? And do we have any bombers? We have B wings, but they don't have that. We don't have that kind of. Gauntlet is taking way too much damage because it's the taking run. the brunt of. All right, all Trigger fighters, responding. focus your fire the on the engines. Oh shit, you guys haven't killed it yet. That engine's down. Switch targets. Switch targets. Last engine. Primary Three seconds. Target. I need all of you firing. One. Yes. One of the ISDs got away, but the other one has been disabled. Okay. Now, complete. wait for it. Where is the nearest frigate production yard? We're going to build those quasars still, but I need to get a... Um, I need to get a jamming ship up here. Like, that needs to be a thing that happens. Hmm. Oh, your artillery ship is done. Solest, build me... Unit in production. Quasars, two on order. Let's move you up. On my way. And we need to start moving our ground forces as well. Tactical battle. How is Cato Nemoidi is under attack? By what? Oh, by that. Man, these little battle groups that are just large enough to take on the space stations that we built are really frustrating. <laughs> And of course, Kato Nemoidi doesn't have the room to put like an ion cannon down, so I can't even augment this force. I wonder if it would be better to like divide up a couple of capital ships as as patrol, you know? Like artillery ships might actually not be a bad idea. I could set them behind the line, and then they could help fight and then run before the uh, before they get overrun. So three three ISDs with the with the upgrade. We've got a carrier and ooh, and we got a um. You don't see these too often. The gladiator. They used to spam these. There used to be a version of Empire War. Let's go ahead and begin this battle, uh, where they used to build nothing but gladiators, and it was so frustrating because the gladiator used to be kind of decent at everything. So when you had a bunch of them, they didn't really have a weakness because they came with fighters. They came with turbo lasers, like an ISD, uh, and they were decently tanky for their size. I think they've been rebalanced since then, though I don't know what their focus We're is nowadays. The magnetic field. Uh, all right, let's see what the fleet composition is first before we waste money on doing upgrades, doing tech upgrades. Yes, Commander. Ready. Oh, I'm kind of curious what's down south. Lock those s foils and cruise position in. Haul butt cheeks to the south. All right, not filling me with confidence when you give me two, three. <laughs> Really? Reinforcements on route. Oh man, we have three bolt cruisers. Why? What am I supposed to do with this many neutrons? Awaiting orders. Heading Reinforcements for coordinates. Like, route. if the Empire and you gave me one MC60. Reinforcements on route. All of you Copy. fall back here. At once. I get no reading. 
Weapons charged. Construction what happened? Complete. Oh, the X wings ended up in me. This isn't good, guys. This is not a fleet I can fight with. I really wish the Empire had to pay for their Tie Fighters, because <laughs> I could kill a lot of Tie Fighters with this fleet. But that's about it, which is literally useless for causing uh, damage. Overall damage. Is there anything worth capturing down here? Is there anything worth destroying for extra cash? No. What are what are you, freighter? No. They're freighter here. No. Just some traffic passing by. Ready for orders. Right away. Not only can I not do anything with this. Lasers, LinkedIn Hostile ready. Trade Center. Um, I'm gonna end up dogfighting ships that don't matter in the south. Ooh, what are you? Reporting. Oh, you're just a very wide turning. Setting course. Come a boot. Reporting in. Let's get the Maybe artillery RB set up again to, to back up. Um, I don't really know what Stand I can take on order. here. Stand I mean, I guess I can progress. upgrade my weapon systems for a couple of hundred. Isn't isn't necessarily terrible. Awaiting orders. How many bombers Ready. we got? We have one. We have one. Reporting in. Upgrade complete. Oh yay! We can give up this life of crime. Clear bay three twenty seven. Wait, there is something here. Abandoned trade station. This around. structure can be captured. Tell me you're winning that fight, X-Wings. Please, please win that fight. I would like to capture this. Station handles legal and illegal trades of goods in orbit. They're coming around. Hmm. I can't hold out. It would give us Hawks and LAF squadrons. I don't remember what an LAF squadron. Ah, no, we're not going to win this. They just got like, oh, YT is reinforcements. No, we just lost that X-Wing. Not worth. Copy that. Certainly, Commander. All right, let's fast forward. I want to do as much damage as I can to this, but I very, very much doubt I can actually do anything. Uh, Weapons you guys, online. you know, my frigate here. Come a boot. Here they come. Send me on my way. Put the I'll Z95 right out front. The enemy is approaching. Dun 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 dun. dun. I copy. Where are they? Space station under attack. Already putting rounds in my space station? Grief. Look at the range. Look at the range. Uh, do they? They have a carrier. We can kill that carrier. If he gets close enough. What are you? What are you these days, Gladiator? Are you picket ship? Strike carrier picket ship. Versatile cruiser designed to escort larger ships. Yeah. Medium armor at 4,500 and 5,000 when it comes to tank. You've got burst assault missile launchers? That's not cool. I don't like that at all. Weapons online. Right away. Where's your fighters, squadrons? There they are. Lagging behind. Reporting. Moving into position. No missiles to stop. Gotta let them come. Gotta get them in range. Before we have them all engaged, the gladiator's gonna sit in the back. Ready for not, not thrilled with that. I have to choose a target. Our space station is on All right, we're gonna go after it. Here we go, everybody else. Deal with that. Space station, fire at this if you can. I mean, interestingly, we could clear this guy's a base of all fighters. Carrier has moved into range. I think we're going to stick with it, though. We're going to stick with our target. Go for the gladiator. Can we break? You have an overload weapon ability, don't you? No, it's engine power. Target the engine. Keep firing. Alright, all ships. They're gonna have too many reinforcements and our, our carriers aren't gonna last long enough. Let's go for as much damage as we can. All of you engage that. Blockade runners push through. Could be really funny if we get them to turn around. Heading out. Fall out. 
I believe in you. I believe in you, artillery ship. You can do this. Kill that gladiator. Knock out a carrier. It is a very cool ship. I just love the versatility of it. Three pasties. Did we ever take out the shields on that? No, we didn't. Yeah, the interesting part is we're winning a fighter battle so substantially that it might be difficult. And we just took out their picket ship. Nah, nah, but the problem is they're going to get more fighters. Um, that we could might, we might be able to take out an IST if we really, really won this. Somehow we haven't managed to clean that out. Help take out this brute. Uh, yeah, you're hitting it. You're hitting it. Come on. Yeah, focus on those brutes. All of you focus fire on one target at a time. Bombers, make your run. You keep firing at that. Yes, keep putting those rounds down range. Nice, nice, nice. Like one more heavy turbo will do it. Okay, maybe two more. You guys have converted me. The MC-60 Cruiser is now my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Yeah, go after the hangar bay. No, 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 Fight, focus on fighters. This is a legit rebel strategy of draining, disabling an ISD's ability to hyperspace and then draining out its fighter squadrons. Can you imagine that combat operation? The enemy ship is so large that you have to fly around in your X-Wing and, and knock out all of its starfighters. I've got it lined up. Woo, there she goes. Enemy unit disabled. The craziness Ready. of it. Enemy we can win this, come on! So the idea being, we, how many squadrons do they each get? It's too many, but... One TIE Interceptor, one TIE Brute, one TIE Punisher. That was the last TIE Brute. The enemy, now, focus shields. your fire, has no Starfighters. Y -wing standing by. They only have whatever point defense they have on these ISDs. And I am nuking the shield generators right now. Primary target is the shield generator. Uh, sadly, we can't uh, target their point defense, so we can't really work on that. I will fast forward this. Let's ion cannon this. The problem is they are gonna start draining us of fighters. Weapons charged. Moving to a go for hull damage. They're gonna like they're we're gonna start losing. Like they're gonna get lucky shots. The turbo lasers are going to hit us, uh, and we'll start losing fighters. Um, tell me he's firing at it. Not us. Can't tell who he's engaging. I think he's engaging the ISD. Yeah, see, we just lost another squadron. Oh, come on. I just saw one of our fighters flash. There goes another one of our fighters. And... And come on! I just lost another fighter! Hey! All right. But with that... I copy. That's going to be when they lose this battle, but we'll the end of that fight. They say that's a defeat. That is a victory. What are you talking about? There is no such thing. That is, that is the, one of the best victories. I will take that. So I probably cut that video up a little bit uh, because we were just sitting there cycle torpedoing the uh, Star Destroyers at the end, and it took forever, but well worth it to the point where... Our reinforcement fleet can probably take that last one before the enemy ground forces arrive. Let's go ahead and uh, add somebody to Pathfinder position and move them right now. And we need to take some territory. We need to move for Altieri. So let's... At Ziri! Uh, I don't want to move Manan ground forces. We can move up Both. They can't get through, right? Yeah, they can't get through. So I can move Eridus's ground force up. Recruiting troops. We need to get paid. We're really low on cash. Kamina has also been training troops for us, for, literally for this reason, to get invasion going. So let's go. Plotting course. Let's go. Oh, please make it. You know the ground forces are on their way. I'd love to catch them. Catch him unawares. Tactical battle. Hey, yeah. how you doing? <laughs> Reinforcements have arrived. Just gonna keep catching their fleets before they can do their ground invasions, even though they've won the orbital battle. 
they're going to be able to punch through when they get that super surge drain. What do you need? Sir? All right, hard burn. Go, 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 go. We need to get sensor range on that ISD. Choose your reinforcements. Uh, it's only an MC60. I know these are good, but they're not that good. I'm going to have to make very strong use of the B-Wing squadrons. Between the B-Wings and our fighters, we should be able to... Actually, we should be able to do it with just those. The All right, right, right there. So, Reinforcements en route. Reinforcements bring in the interceptors. En route. Reinforcements bring in the Z95s. En route. Reinforcements en route. Bring in the oh, T wings, ready to go. Artillery in the back. On my way. And I'm gonna group you guys up. Reinforcements here and en route. Here. Let's go. Dropping out of hyperspace. You engage those. Interceptors, interceptors. I may regret. Oh no! He was in firing range. Not good. Focus on the turbo lasers and take them down. I made a mistake. I was, I was out of range. I was too close. This is gonna blow up in my face. Literally exploding. No! Oh, your shield came online. Yes! You need a tank. As long as you can, tank it. Okay, let's switch fire over to the engine. Okay, Z95 break off the upper brute. All of you, but the bombers. Is his shield back down? No, his shields are still up. His shields are still up. All of you, focus on getting the shield generator down. We have to start doing that subsystem damage. That means we want our main guns on all these fighters actually able to, you know, start packing at them. Uh, bombers aren't good. Give me interceptor group. Go after those bombers. How is his shield holding up? Wow, your shield ability is not bad. I mean, you're still gonna die. We're gonna push through. The shield down yet? Shield is still not down. Yeah, we're gonna lose the MC60. I'm trading an MC60 for a. Um, I didn't even need to bring him in, to be honest. I even thought it too. I was like, oh, I can do this with just the fighters. Oh well. At least we're gonna take out another ISD, and that is a good trade. Uh, let's not give those interceptors free kills. Oh, we know what we need to definitely make sure we do. Uh, engines. Don't let them escape. Because this is the prime opportunity for them to jump to hyperspace now, having gotten a kill. Did I get all engines? Are they disabled? Can't see the square for the third one. Yeah, they're down. Alright, good time to take out the hangar bay, just in case they do have another squadron. Let's not give them a chance to launch it. Wonderful, relatively cheap fighter wings with the Z95s. And then switch fire to the hull. Let's take it down. Let's blast another one. And, uh, not yet. Not yet. Victory is ours. We've got. Now we hold. Oh man, that MC60. I'm gonna hear about that in the comments. Rightfully so. That was being cocky. Uh, let's get paid and get another artillery ship. You guys have arrived. Well done. Let's gather our party. In route. Get ready for the ground invasion. Uh, I think we still got some more time. I don't need to end the recording yet. I think I can do the ground invasion at the very least and get this. Oh, I can't afford B, you. Wow, really? Hypori, switch over to a income generator. We need more money coming in. Like Rhodia, again, Upgrade income generator. Um, Geonosis will probably end up being something Why more interesting. Oh, what do we got? Gain planetary control failed. Yeah, I wasn't going to be able to grab that. All right, let's do this ground invasion. Where's... Reporting. 
Hmm. Invasion commencing. Begin the invasion. One more world they might have to dig us out of. Let's go. I want every world to right be there. just a fortress near the mid rim. Every time they stick their heads up, they're getting artillery. If it isn't artillery, they're getting air assets dropped Choose on top of their heads. They're getting, you know, armor. They're getting raiders. They're getting Z95s. You name it. Uh, we are definitely not bringing in Z95s. Right so bring in some more. Bring in Heading some missiles. Out, sir. Right away. Let's bring in two support out, teams. Right Maybe three. Away. Heading out, sir. And rocket teams. Moving out. Luke, I want you to lead this. Unit Enemy unit sighted. Ooh, we have friendly forces in the Commander. region and bunker possibilities. Right. Get in the bunker. Great to have you with us, Commander Skywalker. Our base is under attack. All right, Luke. Yeah. I don't know what you've decided needs to go, but I'm okay with it. I'm with you. <laughs> Something is. Oh, it's the walls. Can I help? They've decided Fuck. those particular Fuck. walls need to go. Let's see if we can get some anti. Um, Anti vehicle weapons online while we move you guys out. Stay close to me. All right, stick together. A build pad. Rockets, let's move. I'll be there. Our little MLRS system. I'll double down on that. Can I Get a militia. We'll do. What do you need or at least distract them long enough. Those helmets used to be a reward in the early days of Star Wars Galaxies for doing the Rebel chain, right? And you get about halfway through it and you unlock it. And then they removed it. When they redid the Rebel quest chain, they removed the indoor helmet. And they made it so you could make a version of it, but it was a different color. And it wasn't the actual, like, proper indoor color. It was slightly off. And I always found that to be the most bizarre thing, but I also kind of liked it because I had the old indoor one and it looked cool. One of those like, it's rare, so it's cooler. Silly moments. We're gonna go ahead and turn it down so we have those in case this planet gets attacked. I them already built. Taking on their shield generator. Just hold up, Militia. We are on the way. You just need to survive long enough for us to get there. Uh, I doubt. Oh, that was their only shield generator. Look at all the support fields. It's <laughs> a good mix. Where do you need me? Um, yeah, we'll make that too. All right, Skywalker, move your infantry up. Petroglyph, if you're listening to this and you guys are working on Empire War, please make it so we can dig trenches and do like tiered defenses. It's very Rebel. It's very Star Wars. Digging defense trenches. Empire Strikes Back. I want those kind of options. Nice. Look at the mortar rounds. What's the mission? How many mortars? I have four mortars in this unit. Heck yeah. Get fragged. We're moving up. Yes, A little concerned about our artillery platforms. Point. Every time somebody comes out of fog of war, it's immediately obliterated by a rocket barrage. So I'm alright with this. Down it. That might be our screenshot right there. We might get just that. Ooh, I thought it crashed for a minute. System control achieved. Construct. I love how indecisive chat was about what I should um, play next for <laughs> for what faction. It was basically 50-50. I went through the comment Tactical section on whether or not we should do a criminal campaign next or Oh my god! Sweet babies. No, not now. I'm not ready. They literally just finished it. What do you mean there's 14 minutes until the executor's done? What is attacking me right now? Not like this. Uh, it's in the north too. The nearest fleet is not, we're not prepared for this. We are not ready. Yavin, Yavin, Yavin. Hey, how you doing? Okay, I know you're doing 
uh, money to ban a gas stuff, and that's great and all, but I need fighters. Constructing unit. I need you to be pumping out squadrons like crazy. Uh, oh, let's look at it. No! What do I even, what do I even bring against this other than fighters? Maybe, maybe Corvettes? Because they'd be fast enough to like zip around it. I just want to see it. We're opening Roger the magnetic that. field. Fall oh, out. you know what? We're gonna find out right now for science. Construction complete. I know what I'm asking you two captains to do, but it needs to be done. We need to know their capabilities. Take your ship within firing range and try to get to the aft quarter of it. We want to see if their weapon systems can track a ship your size before we commit a greater force. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Reinforcements on route. Good luck. Look at this weapon system on the top. What are the reinforcements like? Not great. Complete. This is when I wish I could damage the thing. Awaiting orders. And and it would stay damaged. Form up. Like every little. Wait a minute. It has to go through the. Burn ahead. fast. Burn fast. It has to go through this. It means it's taking we damage. Send reinforcements. Oh, no, it's not. It doesn't care. Awaiting it's orders. immune. Okay. Holy crap! No! <laughs> no, don't want. No, don't want. Please nerf. Vader OP, please nerf. Copy. Oh my god. I like the drive by of this though. Don't you stop. I copy. Don't you stop. Oh, something's in range. Um. Oh, he's already yes, dead. Sir. He's already dead. Yes, Commander. They're not even gonna make it halfway down the line. Some of those missiles are the size of the Corvette. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's real bad. Oh, balls. I just lost sensor contact with it. Yep. Oh, I thought I had ion cannon for a second. Like, who built that? The pirates are attacking it, too. Well, it's been real. <laughs> it's been fun. So let me know in the comments. Give me that tactical advice. What y'all think. Or maybe throw a comment in there for the old algorithm so more people can find the channel. I always appreciate that. Look at the heavy weapons on that thing. Dual heavy long range turbo lasers. Weapons armed. I'm on I don't want to talk about it. I don't, yes, Commander. I don't want. Maximum you fire. turn your engine on and you run like hell. Oops. A wing here. We're starting our attack orders. run. Look at the shield. How many shield? Okay, this is the time to gain intelligence. So, uh, four shield generators. One, two, three shield generators. One forward, one port, one starboard, about midway down. None in the rear. Even the rear. They, it's so long. Only about half the weapons are in range. Assault that is a here. that is a real thing. Order I, I just ordered everybody generator. to engage. Um, an executive super star destroyer is a mighty flagship of the Imperial Navy, so powerful that most enemy fleets will immediately turn and flee upon sight. Uh, they, that's true. Equipped with countless weapon systems and a terrifying degree of armor and shielding, two hundred thousand shields. Also heavy armor, by the way. This ship can threaten whole sectors on its own. However, nothing is invincible, and a large, well-led fleet can bring one down if given the opportunity, albeit with heavy losses. When your ship is designed to break everything. This is a trend that I wish would have died with this ship in Star Wars. The let's make it bigger because bigger is better and Standing by. more interesting. Come on, we broke the shield generator. Like, with... with oh, wait, um... I almost said a week ago with uh, Return of the Jedi. I wish this was it. This was the biggest ship. They made one. That was it, you know? I'm in range. Instead of the, let let's make it tail. bigger. Now, Prepare this small fleet has managed to just about take out a shield generator that's of three. And I think that's the only way we're ever going to have a chance Switch of defeating generator. this thing on, is Destroy going to be... All right, this actually this actually makes me feel kind of better. If I had the fighter capability, um, 
we might be able to do this. I'm going to order the retreat. I think we've got our intel. And we have our strategy. H-wings? Oh, look at all the... Oh, they didn't. They must have captured a pirate base because those were pirate fighters. Those were old hut fighters. Tim McGillas or something. Doesn't matter. Oh, no. Thankfully, they won't be able to take this planet with that thing. They could probably delete this planet, give it enough time. Oh, I had DP. Those DP-20s were actually, like, bought and paid for. All right, pause it quick before it gets worse. Here's the nearby fleet. It is not a carrier-focused fleet. It does not have fighter capability. So, it's also the Liberation. Um, I don't fancy our chances at the moment. We may have to do a fighting retreat back. Stall them. Delay them. Look forward to reading your comments. I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody. They built it!